ESPN Bet. Our next two ESPN films premiere tomorrow night. I'm just here for the riot is the story of the massive riots that took place in Vancouver after the Bruins beat the Canucks in game seven of the 2011 Stanley Cup final. That begins at 7.30 Eastern, then at 9 on the 30th anniversary of the Rangers' last cup win, no easy victories. The 1994 New York Rangers takes an unprecedented look at how Marc Messier in the blue shirts won it all. Fortunately, they're out of the mix right now. To the NFL, that's where we go. Let's talk some NFL where Aaron Rodgers is hoping his time on the field surpasses yeah, four snaps. If it does, the expectations for the Jets are big. Some saying that this could be one of the most talented teams Aaron Rodgers has ever been on. It's a lot of pressure on not only Rodgers, but on his OC that he brought in, Nathaniel Hackett. Rodgers was asked by Sirius XM's Adam Shine why Jets fans should trust his OC. Well, you should trust me, and I trust Nathaniel. So, to me, that's the end of story. Um, there's been a lot of BS that's been said uh, out there. Um, you know, there's a lot of uh, things that have gone on the last couple of years that he's dealt with that I think he's handled uh, very professionally. And at the end of the day, I think you got to trust him and I's working relationship and the conversations that we have. Ooh. All right, this one's interesting. Stephen A., you want to kick us off here? Do you think Jets fans should trust Rodgers and Hackett? Um... To me, that's not really the question. And Shannon, just I'm glad you're sitting down. Brace yourself for this. <laughs> I agree with every word that Aaron Rodgers said. I'm going to repeat myself. I agree with every word that Aaron Rodgers said. I shouldn't say every word. I'm not talking about Nathaniel Hackett. I'm talking about when he says, trust me, meaning Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers is one of the greatest quarterbacks in the history of the National Football League, one of the greatest talents True. we've ever seen. Yes, he's coming off of the ACF. Yes, he's coming off the Achilles. Yes, he's turning 41 in December. But we know what this brother brings to the table. And that dude, Daniel Hackett, happened, Nathaniel Hackett, happens to be his guy. Now, let me state this for Aaron Rodgers, and he's going to have to accept this. Most people associated with football or talking to those who are associated with football thinks Nathaniel Hackett is awful. They don't believe he yeah. has any business being a head coach, which he is not. And they don't believe he has any business being an offensive coordinator. And you, Aaron Rodgers, must understand that there are leaks emanating out of Florham Park, where the New York Jets facilities are, that have stated on New So you have to deal with that. Having said that, I'm the New York Jets. Well, the last time I made the playoffs was the last time Aaron Rodgers attended and actually won a Super Bowl, which was 2010. It is 14 years since the New York Jets have made the playoffs. You're in no position to challenge Aaron, Aaron Rodgers. If Aaron Rodgers says that that's the guy he wants, then that's what he wants. We can point to an Alan Lazard and a Randall Cobb and say they had 28 catches and only two touchdowns. That wasn't Aaron Rodgers throwing them the damn football. That was Zach Wilson. Thank God they upgraded to Tyrod Taylor as a backup now. But it wasn't like Aaron Rodgers was throwing them the football. I'm saying to you, if this man is behind center, because of your, 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 your history of ineptitude and futility and, and, and downright football abomination, you are in no position, if you're the New York Jets, to deviate from what Aaron Rodgers wants so long as Aaron Rodgers is on that field to deliver it for you. If he says that's the guy he wants, then so be it. Aaron Rodgers just needs to appreciate that you're the only thing keeping Nathaniel Hackett unemployed because if it weren't for you chances are he wouldn't have a job in the NFL because that's how little is thought of him Nathaniel Hackett has something to do with that and there's no question about it but because it's Aaron Rodgers and because he's expected behind center Shannon if that man says to me y'all need to chill out and relax because I'm here and I'm telling you I want him and I need him and if you don't trust him trust me I can live with that because the Jets don't have a better option. That's where I'm at with it, Shannon. I'm not there with you. Had Nathaniel Hackett called plays in Green no. Bay, I would be with you. I would trust him. Had Nathaniel Hackett calling plays in Denver look competent, I would trust you. 
had he when he called and played last year with no Aaron Rodgers, I would trust you. I've seen him call play. I've not seen him call plays in Green Bay. He didn't call plays. He got the job in Denver because it was supposed to be a package deal. He went to Denver and he was god awful. There's no way around it, Stephen A. Smith. He was god awful calling plays in Denver. And he wasn't much better last year. That's why the leaks keep emanating that they wanted him gone. But because, like you said, he's Aaron Rodgers' guy and we want to keep Aaron happy, he's gamefully employed. No, I do not trust Nathaniel Hackett. And like I said, had he been calling plays for uh, uh, Aaron in Green Bay, I said, okay, yeah, I saw him call plays in Green Bay. But he didn't. He didn't call one play. And when he was in Denver, he was calling plays that were terrible. So, no, unfortunately, Stephen A., if you want to say you want to trust Aaron Rodgers, I will concede that. It's been a while. It's going to see how he, uh, Aaron uh, comes back off this Achilles injury. But, no, I do not trust Nathaniel Hackett. Absolutely right. not. Hold, hold, hold a man. Hold a man. I, I mean, I need your ears checked. I don't – ain't nobody told you to trust Nathaniel Hackett. I didn't say that. <laughs> I, mean, I ain't trying to apply well, that at all, Shannon. I ain't say trust that man. I'm saying if Aaron Rodgers said don't worry about him, trust me, I'm I trusting worry. Aaron Rodgers. And then here's the point, Shannon. I'll th I th I throw this back to you. I'm going to throw this back to you because you know. Okay. You see, Shannon, when, when you point out – he was an awful play caller in Denver, right? And he yeah. didn't call the plays in Green Bay. And now we're hearing that Aaron Rodgers was resistant to the Jets hiring somebody to be over Nathaniel Hackett. Basically what Aaron Rodgers is saying, I don't want anybody over him because I'm over him and I don't want anybody else over me. I'll call the damn plays. And I'm telling mm -hmm. you, I trust Aaron Rodgers to call plays. I can trust Aaron Rodgers. Uh, can you trust Aaron Rodgers to call plays? I think you can. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I saw him against San Francisco. How he looked in the playoffs when he was called when he called play. How did he look? So the last okay. time. Okay. Are, you, uh, so are we are we trusting him? We know those four I, MVPs. We know he has four MVPs. I agree with you. I agree with you, right, Stephen A. Right, right. He's one of the historic quarterbacks in NFL history. But when the rubber needs to meet the road. Okay. He been this big. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Hold on, Shannon. Hold on, Shannon. That's fair. But I got a question, because again, you would notice. That's why I got that's why I got Shay Shay in the house. Yo, check this out, bro. Are you okay. telling me? Are you telling me? Wait a minute. What about Matt LeFleur in Green Bay? Wasn't he calling some yeah. plays? I mean, that because, was Aaron hey. Rodgers, that wasn't him? I, I wasn't thinking hey. about no the day you hacking. That was Matt LaFleur. Think about it. Look at Matt LaFleur when he had Jordan Love last year. How about them plays he called it? He didn't have Aaron Rodgers. How, he, how Jordan Love looked? Now, how, he looked how great. Did, he looked how great. Did, he looked how great. Did, how, did, how, did, how did they your heck it look calling plays? Anywhere. Awful. 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 <laughs> Awful. But listen, that's not my point. What I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, when Aaron Rodgers was in Green Bay with Matt yes. LaFleur, it wasn't Nathaniel Hackett's calling plays, but it wasn't Aaron Rodgers either. Wasn't Matt LaFleur calling plays? It, it was it was Matt LaFleur calling plays. But you got to remember, Matt, La, uh, Matt okay. LaFleur was calling plays, but, but Aaron did not play well against 49ers. He did not play well against Tampa Bay. He did not play well, Stephen A. Okay. He did not. There's no way around okay. that. But wait a minute. But, 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 but wait a minute. There's a difference between... San Francisco, and the Dallas Cowboys. Now, Jordan Love looked great, but that was against the Cowboys. Hold on, a lot let me of get people look great against the Cowboys in the postseason. Stephen A. Yeah, I, 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 I got beat by Jimmy G. Stephen A., can I, ask you, a, G, can I, can I ask you a question? I'm going to assume, being on this program with you, that you're not super high, separate from Aaron Rodgers, on Nathaniel Hackett as a play caller, correct? Super high? I, I said, I'm assuming I'm, you're I'm, not. I'm super low on the thing. Okay, Hackett. thank you. So, yes, what I'm, I'm trying to say. I'm super low on the thing, you hack it. So, what are you arguing right now? That Aaron Rodgers is so great that the offensive coordinator doesn't matter? That I'm saying to you, because it's the Jets, if Aaron Rodgers says, because that was the, that, that's what preempted the segment, if Aaron Rodgers says, don't worry about that, trust me, I'm saying, I can do that. I can trust Aaron Rodgers. I can't trust Nathaniel Hackett, but I damn sure I can trust him. 
The Jets have been doing nothing. How trust? much does the play caller matter to be successful in the NFL, regardless of the quarterback? Oh, Break it, it down matters for me. a hell of it matters a hell of a Good lot. Good question. Unless you. Good question. Uh, 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 I think the thing is what Stephen A. said, Molly, is yeah. because the Jets, you haven't been to the playoffs in 14 years. Mm -hmm. You should take anything you can get. If I if I if I want to be the offensive coordinator, Stephen A. Smith. You haven't been in 14 years, and Aaron Rodgers is your quarterback. Be happy. Be happy. Because what else have you had to cheer and celebrate other than missing the playoffs? But I, I'm going to disagree. I'm going to disagree. I, well, I, 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 can't go, I can't go all in with Aaron on this one. I, I just can't. Right. From a, from, from a literal perspective, yeah. I might tweak it here and there, but the spirit <laughs> of what Shannon Sharp just articulated is a thousand percent correct. The spirit of it is a thousand. Who the hell are the Jets to sit up there and say, well, we know better than Aaron Rodgers? Nathaniel Hackett's right. a different argument. But if Aaron Rodgers sits up there and says, and remember, he prefaced his comments by saying, forget Nathaniel, trust me. He said, trust right. me. You know what? I think that that's what you I get. Look, if he's going to be on the field, I'm trusting him. You gravitated towards Stephen A. I think that's what yeah. pulled you in. I think that that's one right. line that pulled you that's in, right. you, you resonated with that's it, right. and that's trust what really me. got you. Yeah, more, more so than the Molly. Nathaniel Hackett piece. Yeah, go ahead, Shay. OC matters because look at Kyle Shanahan, what he got Jimmy G. He got to the Super Bowl with Jimmy G. He got to the Super Bowl yeah. with Mr. Irrelevant and Brock yep. Purdy. And look at some of the guys that he was winning games with when uh, uh, Jimmy G was injured. So play calling absolutely matters. Now, when you're dealing with a historic figure, like mm -hmm. an Aaron Rodgers, like a Brady, like a Manning, sometimes they can overcome. But you need guys that can consistently put you in the right play, in the right formation at the right time. And a lot of it comes down to calling plays when they absolute matter in the fourth quarter, you're down or you're yep. up and you need to keep the ball. Can you make sure you're putting the quarterback in the best position to succeed? We haven't seen Nathaniel Hackett do that. Yeah, and I'm going to take it a step further, Shannon right. and Stephen A., and I think you'll agree but, with this. I, I personally feel like yeah. the jury's still out on the head coach, too. Like, I know how talented sure. this defense yeah. is, and obviously they brought in parts on offense. They tried to shore up the line. Aaron Rodgers will be healthy, all that, et cetera. But we don't even know yet if he Chào mừng đến với Bình Nguyên Vô Tận. Blood!
Only the righteous will prevail. An enemy has been defeated. Rally to me. An ally has been defeated. An ally has been defeated. Dragon and Slayer. Our Dragon Lane Tower appeared. is under attack. Our Slayer Lane Tower is under attack. An enemy has been defeated. An enemy has been defeated. Only the righteous will prevail. An enemy has been defeated. Victory is for the bold. Executed. Our Slayer Lane Tower is under attack. An enemy has been defeated. You have defeated an enemy. An ally has been defeated. An enemy has been defeated. An ally has been defeated. Our Dragon Lane Tower is under attack. Is for the bold. Chào mừng đến với Bình Nguyên Vô Tận. Cả đội xông lên. Có kẻ cười nhạo ta, có kẻ thương hại ta, nhưng chỉ có ta mới là người nhìn nhận mình. Tên cháu ơi! Thân hình anh bất biết! Tên thần cũng lại! Double kill! Oh, 
Your team has destroyed a tower. Ta là người thần tộc, ta tôn sùng quang minh. <cười> 